Hey you, welcome to today's episode of Straight Up. I'm actually about to get in this freezing pool. Okay, about to do my cold therapy. It's like 30 some degrees in Texas, but my commitment doesn't depend on the weather. It doesn't depend on how I feel. Right, I made a promise to myself and I'm gonna keep that promise because I wanna be the greatest version of myself. And I want you to lock in right now, like really lock in. Now, I want you not just to hear me, but to understand me because this will change your life. A lot of people are telling you to set goals and I get it. That's a great mindset to have, but I'm gonna tell you something, that's a dangerous mindset to have because a lot of us, we set our goals based upon our experiences, not off of our capabilities. And what I mean by that, a lot of times when we set goals, we limit ourselves. Goals are something that you reach. Let's be real, how many times have you reached the goal and then you got complacent? How many times have you reached the goal and then you fell off? Because you got comfortable, because in your mind, your mind says, I've arrived. Once you reach that weight loss goal, you relax because your mind says you arrived. My goal to make it to the NFL, once I made it to the NFL, my mind says, it said I arrived. And a lot of times we fall off because that arrival mindset happens. And the truth is about life, the ones that really meet the greatest version of themselves, the ones that really live the greatest life, they never arrive. They understand life is not about arriving at a destination. Life is about progressing through the journey. And so I want to tell you right now, if you want to make this year your year, throw out the goal mindset. I know it's crazy to hear because everybody tells you to set goals, but goals are something that you reach. Standards, do you hear me? Standards are something that you live by. The rules that you have in your life, your principles, the things that you do every single day, despite the weather, like I'm about to get in this cold plunge and it's freezing out here. The things you do every single day, despite how you feel. I didn't feel my best today, but I had a commitment. I had a promise to myself. And so what I want you to do right now is I want, to, I want you to think about whatever goal that you have. I want you to break it down and say, man, what are the standards that I have to live by in order to meet that version of myself? So you have a weight loss goal. What are the standards that you got to live by? You got to eat right every single day. You got to take care of your body. You got to understand your nutrition. If you want to be the greatest version of yourself fitness-wise, there's things that you have to do every single day. And I want you to focus on that. I don't want you to say, oh, I want to lose 30 pounds. Because I promise you, if you focus on the things that help you lose the 30 pounds, you will break that record. You will surprise yourself. You will meet a greater version of yourself than you didn't even know existed. If you have a financial goal, don't say, oh, I want to make six figures this year. Say, what does it take? Okay, I got to save here, I got to invest here. And you live by those rules. And I guarantee you this, when you get to the end of your year, you're gonna smash those goals. When you get to the end of your months, you're gonna smash those goals. And you're gonna take your life to a level that you didn't even know existed. You're gonna meet a version of yourself that you didn't even know existed. Because our greatest limitation is not the outside world. It's not external things. Our greatest limitation is here. And so I want you to break down your life this year based upon the rules and the standards that you have to live by every single day. And then when you get to the end of your year, you can reflect and see where you came. But I promise you this, you won't have the arrival mindset. You won't reach your goal in the sixth month and you relax. And then you really fall off the last six months and then you didn't end up reaching the goal because you fell off. Nah, we're going to take it further. We're going to take it higher. You're going to do it bigger. So write down the standards. Goals are something that you reach. Standards are something that you live by. And what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to get in this cold punch with you right now, because this is a standard. I had a goal at first to say, man, I wanna lose this amount of weight. I wanna be here mentally, but I said, nah. How about I just set, set a set of rules that I live by every single day? The cold punch is one of them. Sauna is one of them, no matter how I feel, I'm getting in here because I want to be the best version of myself, physically, mentally, spiritually. I want to show myself that I'm more capable. I'm more capable than I could ever imagine. You have more to your life than you can even fathom. And you got to live by that. You got to activate that faith. And faith, te faith tells you this. And this is the mindset that I live in. I know if I take care of the things that I can take care of every single day, I know if I can live by a certain set of rules every single day, 
then I will open up a door for my life. You will open up a door for your life that doesn't even exist yet. See, there's a version of you that you can't even see. See, you basing your goals off of your, your, your cap, your ceiling. And you said, man, if I get here, but you don't realize that you're a lot more capable than that ceiling. You can go higher than that ceiling. You can do it bigger than that ceiling. So the ones that I know don't have the arrival disease in their mindset are the ones that don't have a ceiling. They're the ones that just keep building. They're the ones that just keep going. They're the ones that just keep doing. They're the ones that just keep putting that action day in and day out. Those are the ones that create a ceiling that they didn't even think they were capable of creating. And if you live by standards instead of rules this year, I mean, standards instead of goals this year, rules instead of goals this year, principles instead of goals this year, and you say, no matter what, no matter how I feel, no matter how it looks, no matter what people say, no matter what's going on in my life, I'm going to do this every single day. Watch where you end up at. Watch where you end up financially, spiritually, mentally, physically. There's a version of you. And I want you to listen to me when I say this. There's a version of you. There's a version of you that you haven't even met yet. There's a version of you that you haven't even unlocked yet. There's a version of you that you haven't even pictured yet. And that version is the greatest version of you. I'm gonna hold myself accountable by keeping y'all on here as I step into this cold pool. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Standards. Standards, baby. I could have set a goal this week to say, hey, I only get in here three times. But my standard, my rule says, get in here every single day. If you wanna make your body feel the best, you wanna be the most optimal in your life and your health, get in here every single day. No matter if it's 20 degrees, no matter if it's 80 degrees, you get in here every single day and watch how your body feels at the end of this 365. Remember, goals are something that you reach. That's what average people do. That's what people with great intentions do. But standards are things that legendary people do. The people that separate themselves, the people that lead instead of follow, because they understand standards are something that you live by. Make it a standard become the greatest version of yourself. Like I said, in every single video, it all starts with you. Like this, subscribe and share this with somebody. Share, share this with somebody that got that different type of mindset. That ain't trying to be like everybody else. That ain't trying to just post their goals and talk about what they doing. The ones that just shut up, work in silence and just show up and people look at them and be like, man, what you been doing? What I've been doing is staying loyal to my standards. That's what I've been doing. You know some people like that? Send it to them. It's rehab time. Let's get it. Straight up.